All right. Okay. So again, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Kahoot Live. I am your host, Mitchell. And for today, we're going to learn all about coronavirus. So I know that, you know, coronavirus is everywhere. You know, schools are in closure, businesses are closed. Streets are empty, but okay, to stay informed and to know more about COVID-19 or the coronavirus, I prepared this Kahoot Live, and um, we're going to be studying, we're going to be learning all about COVID-19 or all about coronavirus. All right, so for those who are with their devices, kindly open your Kahoot app. Okay, the um, game pin is 59269. And if you don't have your app, you can use your browser. Go to www.kahoot.it and key in 59269. All right, so again, this are all uh, the questions will be all about coronaviruses and all the information here is from the World Health Organization. So we will be stating all facts and all things that are true. And let's see how well you know about what's going on around the world right now, okay? So for those who are watching, kindly, uh, if you can, kindly subscribe, follow, or like my page. It's Twitter, Mitchell Africa, Instagram and my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm going to move now to our Kahoot. And we have eight players. We'll be starting in two minutes. When did it start uh, to have closure or lockdown? Okay, so hello everyone. I am Dylan. I'm from Vietnam. Hi, Fong. Um, so uh, the situation in Vietnam right now, it's um, okay. Uh, the schools are closed, but the workplaces are not closed yet. We have about um 87 confirmed cases um since march 20 in march 20 um we are currently uh good uh there are um, no deaths and and um everyone is safe don't worry um okay, yeah that's, that's so everything's good 
All right. Okay. So that's uh, Dylan from Vietnam. How about for the Tia? How, how are you doing right now since the outbreak? It started January here, right? How about Elise? Elise. Is Elise here? All right, so, okay, so let's get started. It's 1 11 p.m. And we have a fighter, so we are going to start. Kindly uh, hold on your devices so you will see their triangle, red, um, Viruses are a large family of viruses which may not Seventeen points. Okay, no need to answer for this. So, what is coronavirus? Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses which may cause illness in humans. They are also common in animals. Occasionally, people get infected with these viruses, which may then spread to other people. Okay, next question. Coronaviruses are known to cause respiratory infections ranging from the got the correct answer and Dylan is still leading with 1,929 points so what is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS SARS, MERS and COVID-19 are all caused by coronaviruses AIDS is a chronic potentially life-threatening condition caused by the human immunodeficiency virus okay question number five covid19 is caused by a new virus and disease was announced before the outbreak began in china in december 2018 
it's in December 2019. And five got the correct answer. And Dylan is still leading with 2,819 points. So COVID-19 or coronavirus disease 2019, cases first emerged in December 2019 when a mysterious illness was reported in Wuhan, China. The cause of the disease was soon confirmed as a new kind of coronavirus and the infection has spread to a number of countries around the world. Next question. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are the following. Is it stomach pain? Is it fever? Is it tiredness? Or is it dry cough? The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are the following. Is it stomach pain, fever, tiredness, or dry cough? The answer is stomach ache. Eight got the correct answer. And Dylan is still leading. So what are the common symptoms of COVID-19? The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are the following. It's fever, tiredness, and dry cough. But stay. Some patients may have aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat, or diarrhea. The symptoms are usually from mild and decaying gradually, right? So that's common symptoms of uh, COVID-19, fever, tiredness, and dry cough. Next question, true or false? Some people become infected but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Is it true or false? Some people become infected but don't feel or but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Is it true or false? got the correct answer and Dylan is still leading with highest answer shriek of five next question COVID-19 can be symptomless is it true or false again COVID-19 can be symptomless is it true or false oh sorry yes COVID-19 can be symptomless some people become infected, but they don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Most common, most people, about 80%, recover from the disease without needing special treatment. Around one out of every six people who get COVID-19 become seriously ill. So some people become infected, but they don't develop any symptoms. And don't feel unwell, right? Next question, 11. Who are the most vulnerable of the have reached answers three three so vulnerability to COVID-19 older people and those with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure heart problems or diabetes they are more likely to develop serious illness people with fever cough and difficulty of breathing should seek medical attention right away okay Next question. People can catch COVID-19 from others who have the virus. How is the virus transmitted? Is it through the air? Is it from the feces of an infected person? Is it through small droplets from the nose or mouth? Or is it from a person who has COVID-19? Is it 
much fun with anything else, or if you become a person who has some symptoms. And the correct answer is through small droplets from the nose or mouth, okay? Only three got the correct answer. And Dylan is still leading. Top round, three players lost their answer streak of three. Okay, why? Let's see why, why, what happened? Okay, so what is the MOT or the mode of transmission of COVID-19? Up until now, okay, studies suggest COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through contact with respiratory droplets, okay? So when someone comes, okay, or, uh, or talk, okay, there are respiratory droplets rather than the air. So airborne is different from respiratory droplets. When you say airborne, the virus can be on the air, okay? But for respiratory droplets, it's from the uh, uh, the the, part, the the virus is on the um, like the saliva or the droplets from our mouth or when we cough, okay? And the risk of catching COVID-19 from someone with no symptoms at all and from the feces of an infected person is very low. Question 15. To prevent contacting the disease, we should maintain at least how many distance between yourself and anyone? Is it 1 meter? Is it 5 meters? Is it 10 meters? Or is it 2 Again, to prevent contacting the disease, The correct answer is one meter. And Dylan is still leading, and Mitch has a streak with five correct answers in a row. Okay, one meter or three feet distance. Okay, when someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth, which may contain the virus okay if you are too close you can breathe in the droplets including the COVID-19 virus if the person coughing has the disease so we should maintain at least one meter or three feet distance for us not to contact the disease okay that's why we have what we call right now social distancing okay if you will notice in restaurants here in China it's like that like when you go to Starbucks or when you go to a restaurant, actually you cannot sit together, okay? You have to sit separately, even though you're in one group, all right? So that's what they're practicing right now. Question 17. You can reduce your chances of being infected or spreading COVID-19 by taking some simple precautions such as Regularly clean your hands with an alcohol based hand wash or soap and water. Avoid touching eyes, nose, and mouth. If you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, that's the best for alcohol. Again, you can reduce your chance of being infected or spreading COVID 19 by taking some simple precautions such as. And Dylan is still leading with 9,255 points. So what are the precautions or what are the precautions against COVID-19? Right? Now soap and water or using alcohol-based hand wash kills viruses that may be on your hand. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up the viruses. Once contaminated, our hands can transfer these viruses to, you, to our eyes, to our nose or mouth, and later on can infect us, okay? So always, uh, always hand washing. Can I see something? Yes, sure. Um, so if you have uh, symptoms of the uh, coronavirus, you should not go to the hospital because you will overwhelm 
uh, the hospital system for people more in need. If you do have some symptoms, call your doctor uh, yeah. at your house. That's yes, that's a good point. Call, all right. So be sure, thanks to everyone who is here or who are watching. So be sure to uh, have the emergency hotline number of the uh, hospital near you or of your doctor or. Um, I believe that there are like COVID-19 or coronavirus uh, hotline right now in uh, each country. So make sure that you have those numbers because we don't know, who, you know, you can be infected. Hopefully not. Okay. So let's, let's hope not. But, or there might be someone, you know, close to you or, you know, someone who is having such symptoms so if you develop those symptoms the one mentioned a while ago tiredness um uh, fever dry cough then immediately call your doctor do not go straight to the hospital yes that's true okay thank you and uh, question 19 true or false antibiotic antibiotic <laughs> And 325 points and three in a row. RNF is back in the game. Okay, let's see. Okay, antibiotics should not be used in treating COVID-19. Okay, so antibiotics do not work against viruses. They only work on bacterial infections, viral infection and bacterial infections. They are two different infections. Okay. Antibiotics work for bacterial infections, so we need antiviral medications. And COVID-19 is caused again by a virus, so antibiotics will not work. Antibiotics should not be used as a means of prevention or treatment of COVID-19. All right? Can we take note of that? Next, true or false, there is already a medicine or cure for this. Is it true? Again, antibiotics. Oh, there is already a medicine for you. Dylan is still leading with 11,468 points and three in a row. Maggie is back in the game. WHO does not recommend self-medication. Okay, There is no evidence yet that current medicine can prevent or cure the disease. The WHO does not recommend self-medication with any medicines, including antibiotics, as a prevention or cure for COVID-19. There are some being tested, but there is no, there is no uh, medicine yet, okay? So how do they do that? It's, uh, it's uh, through symptomatic uh, therapy, okay? So whatever the symptoms are, they will treat those symptoms, right? Next question, true or false? There is no vaccine yet to prevent COVID-19. Again, there is no vaccine yet to prevent COVID-19. Is it true? Okay, so there, the correct answer is true, right? Seven got the correct answer. And Dylan is still leading. And four players have reached answers three, four. 
Okay, so again, there is no vaccine yet to prevent COVID-19. Until now, there is no vaccine and no specific antiviral medicine or medication to prevent or treat COVID-19 or the 2019 virus. Possible vaccines and some specific drug treatments are still under investigation. They are being tested through clinical trials, so it will it will still take time. So again, we have to make sure that you're safe, stay at home, less you know, less going out, lessen your your movement, and social distancing. Always wash wash your hands with soap and water or with alcohol-based hand gloves. Okay, next question, 25. COVID-19 is the same as SARS. I just joined the What's the pain? What's the pain? Is the same as SARS. COVID-19 is not the same as your SARS. Okay, nine got the correct answer. And Dylan is still leading with 13,953 points and three players have reached answers three, five. Okay, COVID-19 and SARS, what do you need to know about these two coronaviruses? The virus that caused COVID-19 and the one that caused the outbreak of SARS in 2003 are related to each other genetically but the diseases they cause are quite different okay SARS was more deadly but much less infectious than COVID-19 right it was more deadly but it is less infectious infectious compared to your COVID-19 still you know it's still on progress okay but I hope that eventually we'll get rid of this virus. That we're going to have a medication and that we're going to have a vaccine against it. Okay, question. This is a good question. I should always wear a mask even I am not infected. Yes, all the time. No, never. No, stop with this weapon and give us risk. Or I do not care. I should always wear a mask even if I am not. All right, so the correct answer is no, but would be recommended if at risk. All right. Okay, so 11 answered yes all the time. Let's see. Okay, Dylan got the correct answer and highest has the highest answer streak of six. Okay, so WHO or the World Health Organization urges people to use masks wisely. Only wear a mask if you are ill with COVID-19 symptoms or looking after someone who may have COVID-19. Disposable face masks can only be used once. If you are not ill or looking after someone who is ill, then you are wasting a mask. Again, there is a worldwide shortage of masks, so kindly use it wisely, all right? So it will be recommended if you are taking care of someone who is ill or you are ill, okay? So again, social distancing, so we'll go back to the precaution, social distancing, wash hands, and of course, increase your immune system as well. Keep your uh, self fit and healthy. Okay, next question, how to use mask properly? Okay, first, take the mask and in inspect it 
for gears or holes, and through the upper side of the mask. Discard the mask and activate the How to use math properly? It should be all of them, and seven got the correct answer. Dylan is still leading, and highest answer streak of seven. Okay, wear mask properly. Before touching the mask, clean your hands again with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Take the mask and inspect it for ears or holes. Orient which side is the top side where the metal strip is. Pinch the metal strip or stiff edge on the mask. So we have it here. Okay. So the colored side outside. Okay. And then orient which is the side top. And then also okay, make sure it fits here. Okay, so um, pinch the metal strip and then make sure that your nose and your chin is covered. All right, so that's it. <laughs> Next. Okay, so again, please use your mask wisely. All right. Question 31. How long is the incubation period of COVID-19? Is it 1 to 50 days? Is it 14 to 34 days? Is it 1 to 40 days? Or is it 5 to 19 days? How long is the incubation period for COVID-19? Is it 1 to 50 days? Is it 14 to 34 days? Is it 1 to 40 days? Or 5 to 19 days? to 14 days and Dylan is still leading and Weedy Echidna 96 is the highest climber incubation period of COVID-19 the incubation period means okay so what is incubation period Incubation period, this is the time between you catching the virus, so when you are exposed to the virus, and the beginning and beginning to have the symptoms of the disease. That is your incubation period. Okay. So that's the time where uh, uh, when you still are not feeling the symptoms, okay, but you already are exposed to the virus. So that's your that's the incubation period. Most estimates of the incubation period for COVID-19 range from 1 to 14 days. That's the reason why we have the 14-day quarantine. Okay? So the 14-day quarantine is for us to check okay, for the nurses, the doctors, or the health personnel to check that within this day or days, okay, you will not show any signs and symptoms of COVID-19 okay so it is most commonly most commonly the uh, symptoms will come out after five days of being exposed to the virus all right okay next question <laughs> What said coronavirus enters chat. The enter the entire world leaves the chat. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's really good to be informed. It's really good to know what should we be doing right now. Okay. Especially for you kids and students. Next question. Humans can become infected with COVID nineteen from animals. Or yes, certainly. Or Again, humans can become infected with COVID-19 from animals or is it yet certainly or Yet 
confirm they put don't do that do not waste your mask use your mask wisely okay okay so coronaviruses are common in animals yes okay people may get infected with these viruses which may then spread to other people for example SARS-CoV was associated with civet cats and MERS-CoV is transmitted by dromedary camels but possible animal source of COVID, sources of COVID-19 have not yet been confirmed according to WHO there was one okay there was uh, one uh, case okay in Hong Kong that they said the dog was infected but again it is not yet confirmed but, but what okay. about the faro disease faro yeah faro disease it's may basically just like a updated coronavirus which infects birds it can infect oh. humans oh uh that's different uh anyways um you yes. sh- but you should stay away from wild animals or animals on the street just to take some measures but do not abandon your pets yes all right so take care of your pets okay. and but yes that's true stay away from wild animals okay okay next question it is safe to receive a package from any area where covid It is safe to receive a message from any area where COVID-19 is used. Okay, so it's safe to receive. Okay, so we got the correct answer. Dylan is still leading and that yeah has a streak with three correct answers in a row. Okay, COVID-19 from a package. The likelihood of an infected person contaminating commercial goods is very low and the risk of catching the virus that causes COVID-19 from a package that has been moved, traveled and exposed to different conditions and temperature is also low. Right? It is, it is again from the WHO. Next, the following measures are not effective against COVID 2019 and can be helpful. Is it smoking? Is it wearing multiple masks? Is it taking antibiotics? Or is it wearing Again, the following measures are not effective against COVID 2019. Wearing multiple masks, taking antibiotics, or having them. The correct answer is all of them. Okay, so the the following are measures that are not effective against COVID 2019, and it can be harmful. Guys and girls, no smoking. Do not wear multiple masks and do not self-medicate. Dylan is still leading. And next question: Which is the best source for the latest latest and valid reports about the Is it Facebook, Instagram, Even in WSD and in your classes, okay, you have to get the reports from a valid and a um, um, the best source, okay? So for now, I want you guys to get your information from a reliable source, okay? The World Health Organization. 
take kindly get the latest updates about COVID-19 from the World Health Organization site. Okay, visit www.who.int. All right, and let's check the podium. All right, so in third place, Abby. Good job. Okay, thank you so much, scholars, students uh, all over the world. Thank you so much for joining our Kahoot Live tonight. And again, okay, so our topic was about COVID-19, is about the coronavirus. Please, guys, uh, again, uh, wash your hands with soap and water social distancing at least one meter away. If you're at risk, wear your mask, do not touch your face, and can't eat and live healthy, all right? So Hygienic. let's be all hygienic. be safe. And yes, that's it for this afternoon. And uh, always drink your water as well. All right, thank you so much, and I hope you learned a lot, and uh, you can share it with your friends, your family. Okay, so it says here, there is no clear evidence that higher temperatures suppress the coronavirus, according to Min, okay? And according to what, high temperatures suppress the growth of COVID-19. Now, it's a good, it's a good um, information, but yes, it has not yet been proven. All right, so kindly, again, go to, uh, if you have any questions or you wanted to know more about the coronavirus, okay, um, kindly go to the WHO website. And that's it for this Saturday afternoon. I hope you guys and girls learned a lot. And again, you can share it with your friends and your family members if you're on lockdown, okay. Um, kindly stay at home. Please, please, please to stop the spreading of the virus and for you not to contact it as well, okay? And kindly practice uh, precautionary measures. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. I am more than willing to help you out and to answer your questions also. Again, this is your host, Metro Africa. Again, stay safe, everyone, and keep Soaring high. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great Bye, Saturday. Teacher. Yep, yep. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye. And I'll see you next week. I came late. <laughs> that was sad. <laughs> it's okay, but um, you can watch. The video live on Facebook. Okay. Bye. All right, Garden. Hi. And that's it for today. I'll see you again in another episode of our Kahoot Live. Kindly follow my Twitter, Instagram, and click like and subscribe. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, guys. Okay? So again, it's Mitchell Africa in Twitter, Instagram, and in YouTube. Again, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Bye.